Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Oswald and you're watching the third part of the very basics of paint.net tutorial. So what I'm going to cover in this one here are a few very basic things that I just didn't cover in the previous editions of this, um, previous parts. So what we're going to talk about first is we talked already about in the first part of making new documents with this button here. Um, so we can start up a new document. But right next here we have the open button, um, which of course is the same as so many other programs. You can open and you can add a picture to your um, to your window. So let's see here, I want to open this picture here from Brian Lee O'Malley's Scott Pilgrim Volume 3, a promotional poster um, from Oni Press. You guys should check it out, it's an awesome comic. I have it here, I've opened it up, and there it is. Um, so I, I've opened that up, but I can open other images as well. Um, you know, I can open up another image here, there's another picture of Scott here pointing, and when you have your multiple images open, if you look up here in the co top corner, I'll just pull that down a little bit, you have your image here, but you also have this little arrow here that you can cycle through your images and pick different images that you already have open. So I had already opened actually that there that we started with. I had talked about the picture of David Suzuki from the last tutorial picture of the Toronto cityscape skyscape, uh, there's Ed from Cowboy Bebop, another blank file, and the two Scott Pilgrim pictures that I opened. So you can have all your pictures that are opened up here, and if you want to close any of those pictures at any time, let's say I wanted to close this white picture here, there, um, and you can have the option as well to save it, not save it, or cancel. So cancel means you just go back and nothing is saved or not saved. So I'll put don't save for that one there, and let's say we can close this picture of Scott Pilgrim here too. Close that and so on. Um, it only asks you if you want to save if you've actually made any changes at all to the picture. Another thing of course is if we made any changes to the picture, um, we can also save it just like this. We press the save button. I don't actually want to destroy the picture so I press save and we can do that and we can save actually a different quality here so this is compressing the file and the lower quality you get um, you'll actually see here, I don't know how well it shows up on YouTube, but it kind of starts getting ugly and uh, you get what you call artifacting I guess, not that it makes a difference, but um, essentially the lower you drag it over here, the uglier your image is going to turn out. The higher it is here, the more of your quality is going to be preserved. But the thing is, this end here, larger image size, so file size I mean, so we see our file size up here, preview file size. The lower we put it, the lower our file size. So it depends what you want. Um, so, you know, think about it as you're saving your image and you'd press OK once you want to save it. Uh, I think that's about it for this tutorial here. This is a very short one, like I say, for doing things with opening new files as well as saving files. Thank you very much again for listening. If you have any suggestions about what you'd like to hear and see in the coming tutorials, please um, drop comments in the comment boxes or actually send me a message.